welcome to our global top English seminar. I will be your host for today. Uh, my name is Maria. Uh, Maria Shahda. I am from Toronto, Canada. I would like to welcome all of you to our seminars today. And uh, today uh, we have uh, uh, our interpreter uh from current language uh south master kuva po from norway let's inv invite kuva po she's it's a hard work to be interpreter and also we have a diamond master david came from uh, from canada english interpreter thank you so much for support and, and helping us with that uh, meeting all of you interpreters and uh, please uh, make sure that uh, if you needed language selection, choose the English or current language, so you'll be more comfortable in our meeting. Now, before we begin, uh, let's start with our company motto. Are you ready? Yep. Okay, let's go. Cherish the spirit. Create the vision. The spirit, create the vision. Follow the faith. Serve in humility. Aja, aja, aja. Our first speaker for today, uh, we have uh, self master Lisa Yoon with product present presentation. Let's give her a round of applause and invite Lisa. To, to present that uh, new product. 네, 안녕하세요. Sales Master Lisa입니다. Hello, everyone. My name is Sales Master Lisa. Yun. Nice to meet you. 네, 제가 오늘 준비한 제품은 에타미 차분제입니다. And so the uh, product that I prepared for us today is Adami's uh, iron. And so if you are any of the female members here, I'm sure that you've all consumed iron supplements at one point. 음, 특히 임산부는 더 많은 철분이 필요하거든요. Especially if you are a uh, pregnant mother, uh, then you definitely need more iron in your body. 네, 저도 예전에 철분제를 의사가 먹어야 한다고 해서 어, 의사가 처방해 준그 철분제를 어, 먹었는데 어, 정말 못 먹겠더라고요. And so before uh, I had a doctor also prescribe me uh, iron, and so I, when I tried it, I could definitely really I hated the taste and everything about it. 네, 의사가 처방해 준 철분제는 콩보다 아주 작은 어, 알약이었는데 먹고 나면 속이 막 토할 것 같은 속이 많이 안 좋았었습니다. That's because uh, whenever I was trying to take that. Sub, uh, supplement, the iron supplement, even though it was very small, it would really upset my stomach uh, to the point I feel like I'd throw up. 네, 그런데, uh, 시작하면서부터, uh, 있게, but after I tried taking Adami's uh, iron, I really realized that, oh, there's a, even a more possibility to take such an amazing and delicious uh, iron supplement. 네, 그럼 철분제를 왜 먹어야 되는지 알아보도록 하겠습니다. And so let us look into it a bit more on why we should take this. 어, 1일 한 포, 성인 권장량이 1일 한포 12mg이기 때문에 한 포만 먹어도 충분히 어, 철분 섭취가 가능합니다. And so if you're able to just take one pack a day, and that one already has 12 milligrams of iron inside. 네, 철분제를 많이 섭취하면 변비가 생기니까 일일 섭취량만 딱한 포만 섭취하셔도 됩니다. And so if you take too much iron, it's also not too good for your body and you can have constipation. So just taking one a day is enough. 음. 철분은요. 
우리의 몸에 적혈구가 있는 헤모글로빈의 구성 성분입니다. And so uh, iron is actually something that we all have in our bodies already and it's part of our hemoglobin structure. 네, 신체 조직에 어, 신체 조직에 산소를 운반하는 아주 중요한 역할을 하고요. And it plays a very vital role in carrying oxygen throughout our uh, blood and in our body. 네, 에너지 생산에 꼭 필요한 구성 요소입니다. And additionally, also is vital for generating energy in your body. 체분은요, 우리의 몸에서 자연적으로 생성이 안 되어서 꼭 음식물을 통해서 규칙적으로 보충을 해줘야 합니다. And so it's also recommended to consume iron because our body naturally does not produce it. And so that's why regularly people consume through food or other supplements. 네, 혹시 철분이 많이 들어간 음식을 아시나요? And so do you know any kinds of food that have a lot of iron in it? 고기에 많이 들어 있고요. 그리고 어, 고기에 피가 들어가 있는, 그러니까 피가 들어간 음식이 어, 철분이 많이 있기는 해요. And so, especially in meat, uh, especially meat that has blood or it has a lot of blood inside, like the cow and things like that, have high concentrations of iron. 어, 하지만 그 음식 그 먹는 양으로 하루에 필요한 권장량을 다 섭취하기는 솔직히 힘듭니다. But it's uh, very difficult for us to consume enough. Uh, iron through just eating these food. 또 빈혈이 있으신 분들은 어, 철분을 철분을 반드시 섭취하셔야 하고요. And so if you have some issues uh, regarding your health, uh, lacking of um, iron, definitely it's a must have. 예, 여성 여성분들은 남성분보다 더 필요한 거 아시죠? And especially for the female members, it is uh, more essential than male members taking iron. And so for the average adult, you'll need about 8 to 18 milligrams per day. Depending on if whether you're a man or female, but for the um, expected pregnant woman, you'd expect to have at least 27 milligrams, so that would be double your recommended dosage. So I'd recommend taking just one a day if you're uh, just a regular adult, but if you're pregnant, then taking two a day is uh, very effective. 네, 성장기의 어린이나 청소년은 반품만 먹어도 됩니다. And for children and adolescents, uh, I recommend just taking one a day or half a packet a day. 네, 아이들은 혈액량이 증가하고 있, 있기 때문에 꼭 철분을 섭취하면 좋습니다. And so for children, they also have a harder time absorbing nutrients. So taking these iron is very efficient uh, in ways to absorb it, regardless of not having consumed specific foods. 네, 임산부의 태반 형성이 철분으로 만들어지고 And so in a mother, the placenta is also where the iron is absorbed and created. 그 태반을 통해서 철분을 엄마로부터 흡수를 하고 And then from there, the, uh, the baby absorbs the iron from the mother through the placenta. 네, 그또 흡수한 철분을 태반에 저장을 해놓는다고 해요. And as well, the iron is also absorbed into the placenta uh, for later. 그래서 엄마가 충분히 철분을 어, 섭취를 해야만 건강한 아이와 또 그리고 건강한 엄마가 될수 있겠죠. And so it's very important for the mother to uh, consume enough iron for herself as well as for her baby. 에터미에 들어가 있는 여섯 가지 부 원료인데요. And so these are the six major ingredients in the Adamy's iron. 철분은요 비타민 C와 함께 먹으면 흡수가 아주 잘 됩니다. And so uh, the iron is uh, taken alongside the vitamin C and vitamin B is very effective. 
그래서 과일 추출물과 비타민 C의 부어료도 함께 함유가 되어 있고요. And so that's why it's very uh, effective and recommended by many to take alongside different fruits. 네, 여기 보시면 여기 플론이 있는데 어, 어, 철분을 먹으면 변비가 생겨요. 변비가 생겨서 어, 여기에 플론을 넣어준 거 아닌가라는 생각이 듭니다. 예방 차원에서, 변비 예방 차원. And so another great ingredient that Adam put inside is the prune because they were expecting all this iron could cause constipation, but prune is naturally known for helping with digestion. 네, 그런 거 보면은 참 애터미가 좀 굉장히 자그마한 것까지 다 신경 쓰는 게 아닌가라는 생각이 듭니다. And so when I look at this, it really it, it, uh, it is impressive with how detailed Adam is in creating even the smallest of things inside. 네. 철분을 섭취할 때 카페인이나 우유, 계란, 노른자 등 같이 먹으면 흡수가 잘안 됩니다. And so it's when you're uh, very important to note when you're absorbing the iron, it's best to avoid things such as uh, caffeine, green tea, flour, milk, egg, and yolk because it uh, hinders the absorption of the iron. 그래서 다른 건강 식품들은 아무 때나 먹어도 되나 철분은 다른 건강 식품들을 피해서 드시면 좋을 것 같습니다. And so I think it's very important for uh, if you're taking iron to uh, avoid taking specific um, iron, other things that could hinder uh, other supplements that could hinder the absorption of the iron. 네, 예를 들어 아침 일찍 먹거나 저녁 늦게 다른 음식들과 겹치지 않게 시간차를 두고 어, 드시면 좋, 좋습니다. So I think it's recommended to take it either very early on in the morning or late at night so it doesn't overlap with other meals or uh, supplements that could hinder its uh, process. 네, 캐나다 uh, US 달러로 30불이고요. PB는 15,000 PB입니다. And so in the uh, pricing category, it is uh, $30 USD and 15,000 PB. 네, 캐나다에는 아직 어, 아연이 들어오지 않았기 때문에 엣지몰에서 구입 가능합니다. And so Canada has yet to get the iron supplement. So if you are looking to purchase this, you can actually purchase this through the Etchimol. 네, 오늘 제가 준비한 제품 설명이 여기까지입니다. 감사합니다. And so that is all for my product presentation today. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for the great information. Thank you so much, David, for, for your interpretation. And today uh, we have David, Master David Kim from Canada about Road to the Sales Master. Welcome, David Kim, for his uh, speech. Thank you very much. Uh, once again, everyone, it's good to see everyone here today. Let me just get this open. And so, yes, thank you everyone for joining us today. Once again, my name is Dyer Master Daniel, and uh, we'll be doing the Road to Sales Master. Right? So this will be our um, pretty much the starting point of our Atomy journey. Right? So if all of you who are doing Atomy for the first time, or if you are unsure of what Atomy is about, this is where you want to start in learning uh, in terms of the know-hows, the business aspects, and so forth. Right, and so we're going to dive a little bit deeper into that, and so let's uh, begin. And so the timeline for the sales master is uh, pretty straightforward, right? Nothing too complicated. Uh, we're going to be covering what the sales master is, the role of a sales master. So what do you do once you're a sales master, right? And so then after that, we understand the 
aspects of what we should do to prepare, right? What you should do in any sort of challenge to prepare. And then during the challenge, what we should do to maintain and continue to succeed. And after the challenge, once you've done that, what are the things that you should do to continue to maintain uh, further growth in your Atomy business, right? And so the first thing we're going to talk about is what is a sales master, right? So sales master, as you know, there are seven different levels of mastership and the sales master is the very first level of mastership in Atomy, right? So that's the very first level that you're supposed to reach before you go all the way up to which the last level, which is the imperial master, right? And so the first level of sales master, in order to reach it, uh, there's two uh, major things that you need to achieve, right? So the first one being that you need a personal PV of 700,000, right? So the personal PV of 700,000, and that's something that you can achieve by just consuming Atomy's products, right? So just by purchasing Atomy's products uh, from, you know, your day in, day out, uh, throughout the years or whatever, then it's going to uh, start to stack up because your personal PV doesn't expire. Unlike the group PVs, uh, your personal PV is there forever until it reaches the maximum capacity. So it's just going to continue to use the products every single month. And then your personal PV will reach a point where it's going to be 700,000 or more. Right. And so that's when you know that, OK, yeah, this is a good starting point for uh, sales master. And so then after that, you want to work on your group PV. Right. So the group PV is what. Uh, refreshes every single time you match every single day, right? But um, we won't talk too detail about that today since this is just about how to get to Sales Master and like how to achieve it and what you should do. Uh, but in a brief mo uh, summary of it, it's that every single day you're supposed to match specific points. And then once you're able to match them, you receive a commission based on the points that you've matched per that day, right? And so you wanna reach a maximum of all the accumulated points that you've matched up to 2.5 million PV, right? So you have to make 2.5 million PV on your left and right side. And during that time, the amount of times that you match will equate to a certain amount of income that you receive from your mass, um, your general commission, right? So the, just from matching, you'll receive income from that and that's called general commission. And then when you achieve your sales mastership by achieving those two objectives, which is to reach 700,000 personal PV and 2.5 million PV on your left and right, then you receive a mastership commission as well, right? So those two different commissions will equate to your monthly, I guess, or biweekly salary of that mastership period, right? And you have two times that you are able to achieve this mastership uh, uh, period every single month, right? And so you have the first to the 15th and the 16th to the end of the month, right? So the key thing here is that the mastership, once you reach it, it doesn't mean that automatically now you've reached it for once. Uh, you know, I reached sales master one time, I'm automatically going to receive $2,000 every single month, right? So the thing is that you have to maintain this 2.5 million every bi-weekly if you want to maintain sales master every bi week and receive that money every week, right? So it doesn't automatically happen once you do it one time, but rather it's a consistent effort until you reach a point where now people are consuming below you and so many people are consuming below you that it automatically comes up, right? And that's where that comes, the, the term called auto sales master comes into play. And so we'll talk a little bit more about the auto sales master uh, a bit more in a bit. But yeah, those, that's the brief outline of how a sales master works. And so then what is a sales master, right? You know, you're like, oh, okay, you know what? I'm listening to Daniel talk. He's going to talk about the sales master. What does it mean? What, are, what is he talking about, right? If you don't know anything about Atomy, right? It's just your first time learning about it. Then obviously you're, um, what I'm talking about is sales master. You're probably thinking that I'm talking gibberish to you. It's like, okay, right? It doesn't make sense. But a sales master, all you have to kind of break down is that you are pretty much in a role as a leader, right? So think of it as if you're working for a big business or a corporation, then you are becoming a manager, 
of that corporation, right? At that point, you're a little bit above the regular employees. Now you've built up your experience and now you're a manager of other employees, right? And then that's just kind of how it is. But I don't like making that analogy too often because people think that, okay, now I'm a, a boss of other partners, but no, right? Everyone here is equal. We all start equal and we all reach the top together. So at that point, the key difference compared to other corporations is that no one is your boss and no one is your employee, right? The only thing is that you are just a leader ahead of others because you started before them and then you built out a certain know-how, a certain bit of experience. And then that's what you're going to apply uh, towards helping your partners reach the same level as you, right? Not so that, you know, you can order your partners around, but rather to guide them. And that's the, the role that you have to take on as a uh, sales master, right? And so, uh, you know, it's important for you to, when you're starting to do this business, that you start to find new members and you'll naturally encounter these members uh, by doing the sales master challenge, right? While you're doing your anatomy business and doing the challenge, these people will naturally appear. And then while you're doing that, uh, maybe you might not have them stay for long, right? There's people who are come, gonna go, come and go in your anatomy business because you know not everyone is cut out for doing this business, right? If I'm being honest, not everyone has the desire and willpower to succeed in a business. Some people are okay with just working for a other company and being that company's uh, you know employee and then working for a wage, right? Everyone has their own circumstances and their own desires and their own level of how much they want to commit into Atomy. And it's fine, right? You don't have to force it. But the process is that you have to continue to do sales master in order for you to find your perfect partner, right? And it's not going to happen overnight, unfortunately, right? If that was, then everyone would become an imperial master by now, right? But this process is what makes Adamy so great because compared to winning the lottery, it's a lot easier because you know you just have to rely on continuing to follow Adamy's uh, system, right? Adamy has already laid down everything for you, and all you have to do is now duplicate that and follow along. And as as well as it's important for us to follow our sponsors' guide. Right. So your sponsor's assistance is going to be your key uh, base point of what you're going to have to do during your anatomy journey. Right. So many of us, uh, you know, it might be your first time doing a, a network marketing business. Maybe it's not. But regardless of whether it's your first time or not, uh, it's important for us to reach out to your sponsors and follow along and listen to what they have to say, right? Because your sponsors are at that level for a reason, right? It didn't just happen because they're lucky or, you know, whatever. They built out some experience. So, you know, listen to what they have to say. But at the same time, don't just take your sponsor's word for like the Bible, right? Because not every sponsor is right, right? Unfortunately, there's also bad sponsors just as well as there's bad partners. But at the same time, there's also good sponsors just as well as there's good partners, right? And so it's a good and important for us to kind of have the eye to discern and to see whether that partner or sponsor is going to be a good fit for my business, right? And it's up to you to decide and no one else, right? Your sponsors can't decide that for you. Your partners can't decide that for you. It's up to you to decide on whether that's going to be the right fit for you and work together with them to achieve your success in Adam, right? But never be scared to reach out to your sponsors because that's what they're there for. If they ne neglect you and continue to push you away, then clearly that's not a sponsor and they're not really your sponsor, right? So then go above them. Find another sponsor above them, right? It's okay. Reach out to the person above. See if you can find another sponsor above you, right? And then ask them for help. Ask them, like, oh, what can I do, all right? And it doesn't necessarily mean that you need money from your sponsors or points from your sponsors by asking them to be your sponsor. Just being your mentor is a really big help, right? Just by having a mentor that is going to guide you in your anatomy journey is going to make a big difference between you being successful in anatomy and you having a much harder time and making a lot more mistakes that you could have avoided if you found the right mentor and sponsor in anatomy, right? So give it a good uh, thought before you do that and reach out, reaching out to your sponsors as well. As well as being a guide to your sponsor, right? As I mentioned before, you have to become a leader in anatomy 
being a leader means that you are now in a position where you are leading others. You are guiding others to do this Atomy journey with you, right? So at that time, what will happen if you as a leader is not showing the right attitude, is not showing the right kind of commitment to your Atomy business? Then your partners will also see that and then they'll duplicate that as well, right? It's just a natural a cause and effect kind of thing, right? When you're in Atomy or when you're in any sort of business, if you as a business owner, right? If I, let's say I own a coffee shop, right? And then I expect my employees to work hard, but I'm sitting at the back just, you know, playing or watching drama or, or listening to music or sleeping, then would that motivate my employees to also work hard, right? Probably not, right? They might receive the money, so they have to work, but... In the end, they won't do this business like it's their own. And that's the same because it's, it's not their own, right? But it's your, your business. But if you're not working hard, then in the end, those are going to affect your likelihood of succeeding in your, in your business, right? The same applies for Adam, right? Make sure that you, uh, you know, really uh, absorb everything that you can and make this into your own because ultimately you are your own business owner. Right? We are all here as business owners. We're not someone's partner. Obviously we are, but we're not here as someone's partner as well. We are here as to become our own business owners in Adam. That means that we have to actually put in the effort. We have to put in the, the desire, right? And having that passion to do Atomy is going to come from yourself, right? You can't expect your leaders and your sponsors to become your motivation factor for you. Right. Unfortunately, it's it's difficult. Right. If you think back at it, right, we've all become we've all were children before, right? We all were we all had parents at some point, or we still do. But think back when your parents told you to do something, did you want to do it? Right? Did you want to listen and become a good son, daughter? I'm sure most of you, if not majority of us, probably did not listen to our parents. Right. I can 100% testify. I am, I'm very bad and I haven't listened to my mom. Right, She always yelled at me before. I always got in trouble. But in the end, you know, it's important for us to understand that you know, we have to be our own person. Right? And, and, and so we can't, like, if we're, if we're the ones that dictate and say to my partners, work hard, work hard and do all that, our partners won't want to do it. It has to come from our own desire right? So you have to love what you do. You have to love doing Adam, right? I, I told my mom, like, okay, like, you know, if I make, uh, you know, a certain amount of money and I give it to you every single month, will you quit Adam? And then she said, even if you give me 10,000, even if you give me 100,000, I won't quit Adam, right? Because I, that's how much I love and how much I'm crazy about it, right? And so that just shows that's the kind of desire you need to have anatomy if you want to succeed or you have to have that kind of passion and so please 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 when you are becoming a sales master don't just think of it as oh i'm doing this because my sponsor wants me to do it i'm doing this because my sponsor wants me to go to becoming a sales master but think of it as i want to do sales master right if you start to think of it as i and put I into everything. Like I want to do this. I want to succeed. I want to make money for my family. I want to do that. Then it starts to change the narrative of what you and the reason why you want to do Adam, right? So start to think of it as yourself of why you want to do Adam instead of putting it as, oh, okay, my sponsor wants me to do this because they want to succeed. My sponsor wants me to, you know, buy products because they want to make money off of me right no no in the end atomy is all about working together and your sponsors are only there because they want to support you that's the only difference compared to atomy is that to other network marketing if you've done before is that that other network marketing they focus on their own success right so it's like oh, okay i'm gonna use my partners to succeed but in atomy if you help your partners to succeed your success just happens naturally it's such a very simple process but everyone seems to fail at this because we fall into our natural human desire our greed our greed and want to use people want to make a take advantage 
right? So throw that away, throw that away and just naturally have that mindset of, okay, I want to see my partner, you know, so-and-so, I want them to reach sales master by this month, auto sales master by this month, right? Because I want them to make money. I want them to succeed and I want them to stay in Adami for longer. So what can I do to support them, you know, so that they can succeed? What kind of system, what kind of uh, support, whether that's education or, you know, mentorship that they need from me that I can help them to succeed and reach uh, the growth that they desire in Adam. And so when you think about Atomy, uh, you know, when should you try to do it, right? So very many people, there's, you know, they don't have like a specific timeline in Atomy. And that's, I think, a very bad thing, right? If you want to succeed in Atomy, you have to set a timeline for yourself and start setting goals every single month. Even if it's small goals, those goals will start to add up. But if you don't set any goals, then nothing's going to happen every single month, right? Even if it's the, the smallest thing, let's say like, you know, I'm going to lose 10 kilograms. That's my goal, right? Figuratively, I'm going to lose 10 kilograms. I'm going to gain and you know, lose that weight. So then what am I going to do? I have to start to plan, right? So then month one, I'm going to plan. I'm going to lose two kilograms that month, right? So then in that month, I'm going to have to break it down even more, right? Break it down to, you know, each day, what am I going to do each day? I'm going to walk for 15 minutes, right? But then if I don't plan any sort of goal and I just say, okay, I'm going to lose 10 kilograms and I'm sitting here in my room every single day, every single month, will I lose 10 kilograms by the next few months, right? No, I'll still be here. I'll still look the same. And then you'll ask me, Daniel, I thought you said you're going to lose 10 kilograms. Why do you look the same, right? And nothing's going to change, right? So in order for us to show and have results, we have to start to set goals, even if it's the smallest things, and then break it down to make it easier for us, right? So a good rule of thumb that I like to say is to set three months as a goal, right? Even if you don't succeed, it's okay. Out of me, I don't know why, but people are scared of failure. We are just naturally, we don't want to fail, right? We all want to succeed, and that's normal. But in Atomy, we have to learn to love failure because the only time you truly succeed and fail in Atomy is if you give up, right? If you give up Atomy, that's when you truly accept failure, right? But if you don't and you embrace failure and you embrace being bad at things, but learning to love it, learning to grow, then you will build your success in Atomy, right? So in that three months, I'm going to start to plan. Okay, so three months, I'm going to challenge for sales master, right? So then what am I going to do in that three months? I'm going to start to learn. I'm going to study about Adam, right? I'm going to learn about Atomy. I'm going to watch the videos. I'm going to uh, immerse myself in Atomy so that I can bring out the best success once I start my challenge in, in three months, right? So then what, I, what do I need to know? So I'm going to ask my sponsors. I'm going to watch the videos. I'm going to attend the seminars. I'm going to go to the success academies, right? And that's going to help me build out my knowledge so that I can be prepared. Then the next things I want to do is to start to build out my groups, right? So those are the kind of things that I want to work towards in that time frame before I start to challenge for Adam. And so why should I go to sales master, right? So, you know, Daniel, I just only want to do this, you know, slowly and take my time slowly, slowly, slowly. I've heard that thousands of times, people who always want to go slowly. But think of it as this way, right? Like if you are, let's say, 50 years old, right? And you only have until 100 years. So we only have 50 years more to live, right? If you go slowly, Right. And then you succeed in Atomy. Let's say you manage to somehow luckily go to Imperial Master through chance, right, in 40 years. And then you only have 10 years left to spend as Imperial Master. Would you not be really sad? I think I would be very, very sad. Because if I was making $100,000 per month and I only had 10 years to spend that $100,000 every single month, I don't think it would be enough time for me to enjoy my life, right? The reason why Chairman Hangyo Park created Atomy is not because people should just make money, but he wanted us to have a balanced life, right? What do I mean by balanced life? We need to have, you know, friend rich. You know how, you know, you know it's important, important for us to have a lot of friends, 
We also have to have money rich, right? So that we don't have to worry about paying for bills. And it's important for us to have time rich, right? So that we can spend it with the people we love, right? If you only have one of these things, that means that you're not very successful in your life. If we only have friends, but we're poor and we don't have time, then how can we spend time with our friends, right? Oh, if we spend the time with our friends, but we're poor, that's very irresponsible financial decision, right? Let's say you only, you only have money, but you have no friends and no time. Then you're going to just work until you die, right? But let's say you have too much time, right? But you have no money or no friends, then you're just homeless, right? <laughs> you're just homeless. So it's important for us to understand why we need to become a sales master, right? Sales master, becoming a sales master is not our end goal, right? You shouldn't make that your end goal. That should be your goal for maybe next month or maybe the month after. But that should not be your goal that you reach one time and then say that, okay, I'm successful in life and I can now retire in anatomy, right? Sadly to say, that's not how it works in anything in life, right? So let's come back to reality. And then understand why we need to do that. We need to do that because it helps to expand our members list, right? Because challenge fuels your focus and immersion. Without wanting to have that desire to challenge, you're not going to want to talk to anyone, right? If I don't set a goal for this month or if I don't do challenging for this month, I'm going to do nothing, right? Because I'm not setting a sort of goal for myself, right? So I'm just going to be staying home and then I'm not going to talk to anyone. And then I maybe will you know, imagine that I'm going to become sales master this one, right? Maybe I'll pray that I'll be sales master, but that's just not how life works or what in anatomy either, right? So if you want to succeed, you have to set that goal. And so that this month in the, the second half of November, right? Since November is coming up soon, I'm going to challenge for sales master. And so then what can I do for the first two weeks before my challenge begins? I'm going to start to talk to as many people as I can to make out my members list, to create my members list, right? And then I'll start to look at these uh, key members in that list and who I can start to put points into during the challenge so that they could be interested in Adam, right? Let's say you have a, a friend that you think might really love doing Atomy business with you. Then start to introduce them to the business and put points into it so then they can start to receive cash back when you do your challenge, right? And so then next, after you understand why we have to go to Sales Master, then we have to understand what we need, need to do before to prepare, right? Just like if you're doing an exam, right? When you study for an exam, you're preparing. Right. If you go into an exam without preparing, will you succeed or will you fail? I think the majority of us would fail. Maybe if you're very lucky, you might barely pass if you know nothing about the exam. Right. Maybe if you, you have a dice with you and you roll the dice every single time you answer the question, right? Okay, you know, A, B, C, D, E. Okay, go. And then you roll it and you get an answer. Maybe success rate is 20% to 30% for passing, right? But if you really want to succeed in anatomy, you have to be prepared. You have to set yourself a, a guide, a, the goal, right? So. Sorry, give me a Yeah, so we have to set ourselves a goal, right? So it's important for us to do that and we have to prepare. So the first thing that we want to do to prepare is to create a list, right? So we want to create a list and a list of people, right? The people that want to purchase your Atomy products, right? So to start with 
everyone that you know, right? From all the way from your elementary school days, all the way to your college days, to your work days, right? Your parents, your family members, your friends, you know, your people at church, whoever you know, write it down. It doesn't matter if you're going to contact them or not, right? Just write them down, right? For now. And then you go through each one and then you can contact them and be like, hello, is this John? Okay. Hi, John. Remember me? It's Daniel, right? I just want to let you know that I'm doing a online shopping mall and I was wondering if you could purchase some products for us. It's a Korean based product. It's, you know, really great. Right? They're uh, really amazing at what they do. Plus the price is uh, very affordable and high quality. Right. And then you go from there and then you introduce them to the products. Right. And you go from there and be like, okay, yeah, like, you know, what, what do you have? Right. And then you can say, listen to the, the things that the, they might need. Right. Obviously, you don't go off just trying to sell the product right away. A good tip that you might do when you're talking to people is that first you want to listen to them. Right. Listen to them. If you're someone who loves to talk, now's the time to learn how to be quiet. Right. This is where you're going to learn the skill to be quiet and listen. Right? You have to use your ears. So when they're talking, listen to what they want, right? So let's say they're talking about something and they bring up like, oh, you know, like, you know, lately I've been having a lot of uh, problems with my health, right? I've been feeling low energy, right? And right there, you're already given, you know, uh, some clues, right? So then you're going to be like, oh, you know what? Like I've been doing this business and we're offering some really amazing Korean health supplement products. I, I really want to recommend Hemoin to you. Right. Why don't you try our Atomy Hemohim, right? And then if you don't like it, then just let me know. And, but if you really love it, then can you introduce someone else that you might know? Maybe your mom, maybe your dad that's also might be having some health issues or so forth, right? So these are some good things that you can use to, to introduce uh, Atomy to others, right? And, and next is to change their habits, right? Because we are all creatures of habit and we all love to use the same things, but because the products that we are offered in the market is very limited, right? If you go to the supermarket, there's only a few brands that you can purchase, let's say detergent from, right? And so, and most of those uh, products are not very high quality, right? And if you want to purchase something higher of quality, then you have to go to like a, a third party <laughs> seller or purchase it and it'd be like organic materials and very high pricing, right? And so, um, you know, let them know that, okay, like, you know, you're already using Atomy's right toothbrush why not use atomy's toothpaste as well right they're also very uh very great very high quality they taste great they're also very affordable right and so you can very uh, trust it and give them the reasons why they need a switch right don't just be like okay you should just switch without any reason why right because we all are based off you know we all run off a system where we have like a uh, a value we place value on things right so if there is not a, any value to be gained from switching people won't switch, right? Just like how uh, whenever you're switching from one phone carrier to another phone carrier, you start to compare the value of each carrier, right? Okay, so this, you know, you know we have in Canada, we have Rogers and Bell and, you know, TELUS are the three major carriers. We're like, okay, Rogers is offering me this benefit while Bell is offering me this one. So why should I switch to, you know, TELUS, blah, blah, blah. So then we all like to compare and shop around. And so, that's why give them the reason why they should change, right? Don't just be like, okay, it's change, but rather like, okay, you know, you might love our toothpaste because, you know, it has propolis, is great for your gum health. And I've been using it and I've used other products before, like the one you're using, like Colgate or whatever. And I've noticed a considerable change in my gum health. And they're also very affordable, right? If you want to purchase the same high quality propolis toothpaste from like Amazon, right? Because they don't sell that in regular stores, it'll be like double the price right? and give them the reason why they should switch. And then after that, it's also great to pre-process the payment to help you kind of uh, get some profit in already and then be ready. So that way, when you're doing the challenge, you're not left hanging when some people, you know, kind of get scared last minute and then quit or uh, cancel the payment, right? So it's important for us to kind of do that in, in advance, uh, but not a necessary process. But if you can, it's a great a step. And another thing is that, uh, you know, it's also important for us to consult with your sponsors on the potential partners, right? So remember earlier I said that, oh, maybe my friend will really love doing anime business, right? Maybe they'll do that. And so if I feel that way, then consult with my sponsors and then potentially introduce putting points into their, uh, you know, legs. And so that way they can receive some cash back 
Uh, obviously, you're not going to build out their two legs, but you just speak to them. You're like, oh, you know, like John, you know, I know that you've uh, been using Atomy products before and uh, you're using it with me. Uh, why would you be interested in receiving a little bit of money back while using the products, right? When you're purchasing this time around. And then maybe they'll be like, okay, yeah, sure. And some people, they might say, no, I'm not interested. I just only want to use the products. That's fine. But if they are, then let them know that, okay, in order to receive it, then you have to add one other person on your right leg, right? Because they're already on your main leg. So you just need one more person. Maybe it's their son. Maybe it's their daughter. Maybe it's their mom or, you know, dad. Doesn't matter. Anyone that they can use to add so that they can receive some cash back. So instead of purchasing products under their own leg, they, their own name, they can now purchase it through their dad or mom's account so they can get some cash back during that challenge. And it's important to consult with them. So that way, you know, you can uh, know who you can do it, uh, invest into, right? Because... Anatomy, you need to have the right kind of eye, right? There's people that you might think that, okay, I'm going to invest into them in my time and effort, and they're going to end up becoming not very great partners and maybe leave, right? But they would have already shown a lot of red flags before that point. So it's important for us to kind of catch these red flags before it actually happens, right? And so it's important for us to understand if we talk to our sponsors about it, our sponsors will kind of know beforehand because they probably already dealt with a lot of these red flags before so it saves you the time if you speak with your sponsors kind of get that insight on what what can be a potentially a, a hit or a miss right and it's important for us to understand uh, anatomy we are a binary leg so never forget that and always work towards building both legs because in the future it will give you a more of a success than in the present, right? Right now, only building one leg seems like the easier option, right? If you're already on your sponsor's main leg and your sponsor is building out the one side of your leg for you, it might seem easier right now to just focus on one leg. But later on, long term, when you do this, you're going to uh, really thank yourself for choosing to do both legs because when you're doing the challenge, doing that, uh, building both legs will make it so much easier later on when you're uh, uh, going into a higher mastership because now you have more partners that you can work with on each side. But if you only build one leg and the other leg is your sponsor's leg, when you want a challenge, you're going to have to rely on your sponsors to challenge as well, right? But if you're not, your sponsors are not challenging and if your sponsors are already receiving like auto leadership member uh, uh, commissions, then they might not have a desire to challenge yet. Then you might be uh, you know, kind of stuck on like, okay, I am kind of stuck on trying to grow as a mastership, right? So then that's where your partners come into play, right? So it's important for us to build out both legs. So later on, we have a much easier time building that business. And it's, it's obvious kind of thing too, because, you know, when you think about it, this is our business. So if we're not doing our business properly, then who can, right? Your sponsor is not going to do it for you, right? Even though you might think your sponsors are there to support you, at the same time, yes, we are, but this is our own business, right? So if you are not actually working hard, your sponsors will see that and your sponsors will have no obligation to help you, right? So please keep that in mind and work hard for yourself so that your sponsors can also have the desire to support you as well, right? And another good tip is that when you're doing the Sales Master Challenge, um, the first to the 15th, for example, here, there are specific days that you want to put points into that day to maximize your commission and uh, potentially uh, stop yourself from missing out on profit, right? Because, you know, we, we all love money, right? We all love money. That's why we're here as well. So it's important for us to make sure that we hit the specific days in order to maximize our commission. Obviously, if you can't, that's fine. This is not like the Bible to following key, like uh, word for word. But if you can, and if you have the ability to do so, it will help in terms of generating a little bit of extra income through your challenge period. And so during the Sales Master Challenge, um, there is, especially for the first time, there's a little kind of cheat, uh, a little cheat that we can do in order for us to succeed, right? So here we have a picture where we, as I mentioned there in the very beginning, in order to become a sales master, we need to have 700,000 personal PV, and then we need to have a group PV up to 0.5 million on each leg, right? And that's how you become a sales master. Um, but on the middle, we have a diagram where I only have 300,000 PV, right? So let's say I start to challenge, 
um, the base amount that you have to have before you can start the challenge is 300,000 PV, right? So 300,000 PV is what I'm going to start. And then I work hard during the two weeks and uh, the two weeks are almost about to end. And I was able to successfully finish one leg. So 2.5 million on my left leg was completed. But on my right leg, I'm missing 2.1 million. And my personal PB, I'm also missing. Uh, I mean, I'm uh, missing 400,000 on my right leg. But on my personal PB, I'm also missing 400,000. Right. And so then if I have to put in 400,000 on my right leg and 400,000 on my personal PB, I end up having to put in 800,000 PB. But if I put in just 400,000 into my personal PB, it balances out my personal PV to become 700,000 and it balances out my missing leg to reach 2.5 million, right? So then I'm able to successfully achieve sales master uh, and uh, successfully pass that, that initial phase, right? So this is a kind of system that Adam implemented for first time sales masters to just make it a little bit more easier for you when you're doing the challenge, right? And what kind of business is that? Adam is continuing to strive to succeed and have us succeed. They didn't have to do this, right? Because extra points me means that they've also sold more money and made more money. But in the end, they want you to be having a little bit of an easier time to succeed because they know it's your first time, right? But if you're doing this challenge and let's say you only have 2.3 million on your left and right, Right, and you have a 300,000 uh, personal PB. So you think that you can put in 400,000 to balance out both legs. Unfortunately, that one uh, will not work, right? So in this case, you can only succeed if one leg is completed. So if you have one leg completed, this is when you wanna put in and do this trick, little cheat, in order for you to uh, quickly pass your sales master challenge. And so what should you do after the challenge, right? Just like the process of before and the middle of the challenge is important, so is the last half end of the challenge, right? After the challenge is also equally as important. I don't know why, but many of us continue to uh, forget, and I've seen it time and time again from other people as well as from partners and consumers that do the sales master challenge, that the after, doing the after part of the challenge is so important, right? because this is where customer care comes into play, right? Just like how when you go to a business, right? And then you, you know, shop around and then they'll send you like a little survey afterwards, like, oh, how did we do, right? Or like if you call like, uh, you know, a phone line and then you ask them to do something and then they send you an email and be like, oh, can you rate our service? So we know if we've done a good job kind of thing. This is that equivalent. This is Atomy's equivalent of that, right? But in the end is that you have to do this part just as much as you have to do all the other parts, right? So you have to start setting up follow-up meetings with your sponsors and members who have received the commission, right? So you remember my friend, John, I was thinking of inviting to do this business with me. And I was like, okay, John, if you know someone, add them in your right leg so that we, we can put some uh, points in there and you can receive some commission. I'm gonna now connect John with my sponsors, whoever that may be, right? So bring them to my sponsor and then have them communicate. And I'm gonna be that bridge, right? I'm gonna be that bridge. I'm not gonna talk. I'm gonna let my sponsors do the talking because that's gonna have a bigger effect than me talking, right? Because John is my friend. And then John is not gonna think of me as someone very important. He's just gonna think of me as my friend and then like, okay, you know, Daniel wants me to do it. Okay, sure, I'll just attend. But if I bring them to my sponsor, my sponsor has a higher mastership than me. They also make more money than me. And then my sponsor is gonna have that more experience than me. So they're gonna be able to help me, you know, really rope John in. They're gonna make John convinced that, oh, I should do this business. Because if, they, if John looks at me, He's not going to feel that sense of wanting to the biz, do the business because in the end, he's just going to think of it as like, oh, Daniel's just doing something else. But when he looks at my sponsor, he's going to be like, wow, you know, sponsor A is doing such an amazing job, right? They know the business and then they're going to show more respect. But it's also up to you to sh uh, let them know and start to build up your sponsor, right? Don't be saying anything negative about your sponsor. Like, oh, you know, my sponsor, they're working hard, but like, you know, they're so like, you know, mean or blah, 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 right? Always talk good about him, regardless of what you believe or what, what you think. If you need to use your sponsors, use them, right? That's what they're there for, right? 
So then that means that you have to put in the legwork, right? It's like, oh, John, my sponsor, they're so great, right? They're so knowledgeable. I think you'll love them, right? They know all of this out of me, ins and out. I'm not very knowledgeable. So I'm going to bring you to my sponsor. So that way you can have a better understanding because I want you to succeed in this business. I want you to understand the ins and outs of this business, right? So to bring them to them and then help them connect with your sponsors. And then after that, bring them to the seminars, Right? Bring them to the meetings. The seminars are what's going to fuel your partner's desires and to want to do the business, right? Because they're going to, from there, see the bigger picture of what Atomy has to offer. And then the next, you want to follow up with new products, right? That members have ordered, right? So the members that have been making the new purchases, right? So let's say I have uh, someone named um, Tiffany, right? Tiffany purchased a new evening care set. Right. So then I call with Tiffany and I ask her, oh, how are you doing, Tiffany? Um, like, did you like that evening care set that you purchased? If Tiffany answers no, then I want to wonder what she did. Maybe she used the steps incorrectly because there's people who surprisingly enough, when I tell them to do it, you know, step by step, they start to do it backwards. Right. They go, OK, I'm going to use the, the face mask and then I'm going to use the, the foam cleanser and then the deep cleanser. And then they're going to have a breakout, obviously, because they did it incorrectly. So tell them, okay, you know, what's going on? Ask them what's going on. And then if it doesn't fit with them, then that's fine. But if it was just because they used it incorrectly, then, you know, guide them on the right steps and then continue to have monitor them until they see some, you know, positive change, right? As well as, you no, know, I'm going to call Tiffany and be like, okay, so if you like the product, right? Uh, then let me introduce you to our another product, right? We have our absolute six set, right? I know, Tiffany, that you've been wondering and worrying about your wrinkles, right? This is going to, right, de-age you, not even anti-age, the de-age, right? So then you're like, what is de-age? And you're like, Tiffany, this is about when your face is going to look even younger than what you are already looking now, right? If you're looking like you're in your 40s now and you're 50 years old, you're going to look 30, Right. Give them the incentive to want to try it right? and then help them switch over. And then after that, make them a repeat customer. Right? Continue to do this. And now you have royal customers. Right. Do this with one person. That one person will now generate 300,000 PV automatically every single month for you. Right. And then they're also going to love it. Ask them to introduce their mom to you. Ask them to introduce their brothers to you, your, their dad, whoever. And then now you're going to do that same thing with their brother, dad, mom, whoever. Now you have a second customer that's going to use 300,000 uh, you know, PV worth of products or more, right? And so just by doing that over and over again, you're going to build out your group, right? And just by consumers alone, you're able to become a sales master, right? If you have 10 you know, royal customers that spend around 300,000 PV worth on each side, right? 10 on the left, 10 on the right, I become a sales master, right? Very simple, right? It seems easy enough, but I can tell you it's not that easy, obviously. <laughs> Otherwise, everyone can become sales master very easily. But this, the concept and execution is easy, right? Just do it and continue to repeat that, rinse and repeat, and then continue to increase what the customers use. If they use only one product, introduce more products to them. Don't be scared to introduce more products because you have nothing to be ashamed of, right? Atomy is not showing or giving you any sort of negative products. If you've used Atomy product before, then you should have the confidence to back that up, right? That only comes by using the products. If you've never used the products, obviously it'll show. The customers will know, right? You know, people are not stupid. And so if you, if you show that, they're not gonna wanna buy the products. But if you show the confidence, right? Because I love Hemoim. I love all these products. And I'm you know, eager to share it. Then your customers, your partners, your customers, you know, whoever you know, your you know, friends, your family members, they'll see it, right? If some of them will even ask you like, oh, you know, Daniel, what have you been doing with your skin? It's been glowing lately. And they're like, yeah, because I've been using Atomy product. I love it. It's great, affordable. And then they're going to want to use it too, right? So become a walking advertisement. Right. And that only happens if you're using Atomy's products. So don't skimp out on using Atomy's products. Don't think that you're going to succeed by not using any products. Right. You no, know, I, I know like uh, the other day we went to the Success Academy 
And then our lovely host, sales master Maria here, or Maria here, she had a game for us, which was to pick out how many products you have in your purse of Atomy's products. Right? And she had 10 different products, right? 10. Right. So that's amazing. That's great to see. That's the kind of things that you want to do for your partners to start to switch over the products that you're using, because that shows that you're using the products and you have confidence in them. And with that confidence, naturally, you're going to be able to easily share with others. It's different if you're trying to sell. If you have that selling mentality, it's going to make it a lot harder for you because the only focus you're having is trying to sell to something to them instead of trying to give them a benefit. So then if you're trying to have that selling mentality, you're going to offer them everything and anything that they don't even need, right? When even though you know that they don't need it, you're going to try to sell it because they're worth the most, right? So really listen to your customers, listen to what their needs are. So that way you can offer the best products ever. And then they're going to want to bring more customers, more partners. And from there, you're going to find potential hidden gems who are going to be your core members. And so we have the intermediary sales master as well. Uh, for the sake of time, I did blabber on for too long, so I'm going to cut it a bit short. Um, pretty much it's like the uh, midway point of sales master, right? So Atomy created this level to make it easier for us, right? So you only need 1.5 million on each leg. And, you, and then you uh, same 300,000 PV personal PV starting point. And then you're able to receive that uh, intermediary or semi-sales um, income right so you make about like five hundred dollars bi-weekly by doing this but for sales masters you make about a thousand dollars bi-weekly by doing this right but if you build out your sales mastership even more and it becomes an auto sales master it can fluctuate some months you make two thousand some months as you make more consumers you might make three or four thousand right and then your sales mastership continues to grow and then you're you know you want to increase and level up to become like a, a leaders club and auto diamond auto you know share rose mass etc all right, so you know it's a very uh, straightforward uh, diagram I want to make uh, briefly talk about here is that we now you know if you want to become a sales master, uh, not only is it possible just by doing it with like ten royal consumers that you know purchase three hundred thousand each, but now you can just help your partners right. Let's say now John came out and he want to do the business. I'm going to now motivate John by saying that okay, I'm gonna work together with you on your your left leg right. So we have John there. Um, let me see if I can do this. Yeah, so we have John here, right? And then he he's going to work hard on both legs, right? And then I tell him that, okay, John, I'm going to work hard and uh, help you do a one leg as well, work together, right? Not me doing all this leg by myself, but I work together with John. And then John's going to reach 1.5 million on this leg a lot easier because of my help. And then he's going to work hard on his right leg as well to do 1.5 million. And then that generates 3 million PV on my left side, right? And then I'm going to find Tiffany, right? Tiffany here on my right side. And then I'm going to do the same thing, right? And then Tiffany's going to work on her leg, you know, here and then as well as here. And then she's also going to become a sales master, a semi-sales master. So now I have 3 million on each leg. So then automatically I become a auto sales master, right? And so I just have to rinse and repeat and do this every single time until you know, John and Tiffany both become auto semi sales master, right? Then I become an auto sales master. And then I help John and Tiffany become a auto sales master as well. Then what do I become? I become a diamond master, right? Auto diamond master, right? And so, so the process is very simplified it, obviously, you're going to have a, you know, thousands of more customers and partners below you, but that's just the straightforward version of it. And then you just have to duplicate this with your partners and your partner's partner, right? So that's where your leadership comes into play, right? If you just sit and become a sales master and then auto sales master and your partners are only semi-sales and you don't do anything afterwards, you are making your partners suffer, right? Please don't do that. Please, please, please. Support your partners because they're your bread and butter, right? They're the ones that actually are the ones making you money. If your partners quit, then you're screwed, right? If your partners quit, then you are screwed. So please do not neglect your partners and show care and show love to them, right? They're your partners and they're not your employees, right? And same with your sponsors. They're not your boss. 
right? So you don't have to listen to everything that they say if you don't believe that it's right for you. But also at the same time, respect your sponsors, please, right? Don't just be like, okay, you know what? I've already learned all of this. I'm going to ignore you, sponsor, blah, blah, blah. Go your own way because you're going to come into a time where you're going to need them, right? So then if you don't show your respect to your sponsors, they're not going to do the same for you as well. So please respect your sponsors, respect your partners, right? And work together. The only way for us to all survive is to work together. So don't neglect it. But if you don't show the first initiative, it's not going to happen, right? And so, you know, many of us think that, okay, my partner has to be the first one to work hard. So then I am going to work hard. No, 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 no. You work hard, regardless of whether your partners work hard or not. And then eventually your partners will see that and they're going to work hard, right? So not the other way around, right? So please work hard for your goals and for your partner's sake so that you can reach success uh, in Atomy. And so that's just a uh, simple, brief summary. I know I went a bit over time, um, but I hope that you've enjoyed uh, the lecture for today. And thank you all so much for listening. Thank you so much, David. It's amazing information, Daniel, I'm sorry. Amazing information, very much things to learn so much, especially with that semi uh, self master. It's something we should learn about it. Thank you very much. Let's give the round of applause for Daniel and for his amazing speech. Thank you so much. And we have one more speaker, uh, Atomy Canada News by Sharon Master, Easter Park from Canada. Let's welcome Sharon Master. 네, 안녕하세요. 어, 에터미 캐나다 새로운 음반 마스터 에스터입니다. 데니아, can you do the uh, interpretation for me, please? Ah, uh, yes. Um, thank you so much, everyone. My name is Sharon Master Esther Park. Nice to meet you. 네, 시간이 지났지만 잠깐 짧게 말씀드리겠습니다. And so time has passed, but I'll just briefly summarize what uh, the news is. 네, Atomy Canada 전체 리더 클럽과 로얄 리더 클럽, 크라운 마스터 클럽에 계신 분이십니다. And so this is all the Crown Masters, Royal Masters, and Leaders Club members in Atomy Canada. 우리 팀은 글로, 어, 탑 그룹 팀이라서 어, 제가 저희가 내년에는 이 리더 클럽에 들어갈 수 있도록 최선을 다하겠습니다. And so we are from the top group, and I'm going to do my best to enter the Leaders Club next year. Uh, last week, uh, Toronto Success Academy was there. And so last week, we had the Toronto Success Academy. Yeah, our top group, uh, the members all gathered. And so we had all our top group members uh, gathered today. And so And our lovely partner Joyce, uh, she won the lucky draw that day and won a very amazing pack of uh, rewards. And we have here sales master Lisa, who is already in the pose and posture of a royal imperial master. 음. 1번 사업자 임페리얼 마스터님과 사진 찍으려고 모두들 다 모인 이, 이 모습이 정말 어, 행복했습니다. And we even have our uh, number one uh, owner the cold holder of Atomy the Imperial Master here and everyone wanted to take a picture with them. 음. 자, 그리고 어, 캐나다에서 공식적으로 캐나다 프로덕 데이가 어, 있습니다. So we have a official Canada's product day. 어 근데 감사하게 토론토 저희 센터 토론토 UAG 센터에서 11월 9일 날 프로덕트 데이를 오피셜리로 합니다. And so we have our product day on November 9th this year. 네, 세러데이 11인데요. 여기는 센터랑 상관없이 모든 사람이 참석할 수 있으니 주위에 많이 알려 주시면 감사하겠습니다. And so it's 11 a.m. Uh, at Saturday. And so regardless of who you are, um, please attend and uh, enjoy our uh, session. 그리고 고세스 마스터가 곧 어, 캠프가 곧 시작되는데요. 오늘이 마지막 어, 레지스터 할수 있는 날입니다. 모두 어, 레지스터 하셔서 정말 많은 것을 배우시기 바랍니다. And we also have the Go Sales Master Camp Season 4 happening. 
So please register soon before the registration closes. 2025년 세미나 캐나다에서 플래닝이 있는데요. 어, 토론토, 몬트리올, 벤쿠버, 캘거리, 에드먼트, 오타와, 해밀턴, 키친, 키치너까지 정말 많은 시티에서 어, 세미나를 개최하게 됩니다. And so in 2025, uh, Atomy is planning to host a lot more seminars in different uh, cities and countries. And uh, so here we have in just in our Canada, we have Toronto, Montreal, Vancouver, Calgary, Edmonton, Ottawa, Hamilton, and Kitchener. 자, 요, 이, 제, 이, 어, 플랜은 2025년, 어, 세미나 플랜인데요. 모든 리더분들한테 받으시면 됩니다. 각 센터 리더분께서는, 어, 파트너 분들께 나눠주시면 감사하겠습니다. And so here we have our 2025 uh, schedule out for all the seminars. And so please, for each leader, uh, I'm going to send it out. So keep that with you so that you can keep track and also guide your partners. 그리고 여러분, 캐나다, population은 40 million입니다. And so another big thing is that Canada's population is 41 million uh, member, uh, people. 그런데, 에톰이 캐나다 멤버는 6만 9천 명밖에 안 돼요. 69,000 멤버. But in Atomy Canada, we only have about 69,000 members in Canada. 가입하는 사람보다 나가는 사람이 더 많네요. And so there's more people who are leaving than actually signing up in Atomy Canada. 이 뜻은 바로 이 캐나다가 블루 오션이라는 뜻이에요. And so then that means that this is a very blue ocean and an opportunity for all of us. 이 에토미의 이어이 마케팅 플랜과 이 시스템을 잘 몰라서 떠나는 사람이 너무나 많기 때문에 우리가 제대로 알려준다면 이 떠났던 모든 사람들은 우리 파트너로 만들 수 있습니다. And so all of these people who left is because they didn't properly understand the system and uh, what, well, how they can do, what they can do to succeed. So if we properly teach them and guide them, then we can succeed and have them join our group. 제가 이렇듯이 각 나라에 계신 분, 어, 미국에 계신 분, 노르웨이, 스웨덴의 리더 분들은 이런 어, 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 표준 어, 도표를 어, 갖고 계시면 우리 저희들한테 나눠 주신다면 더 어, 사업에 도움이 되겠습니다. And so I want all the leaders in each different countries if you can just share these kind of information, I think it would be very uh, helpful to understand what it's like in that country. 2025년에 어, 코리아 투어가 있는데요. 이 내용은 각 리더든 분들께 어, 어, 물어보시면 더 자세하게 안내해 주실 겁니다. And in 2025, we also have the Korean tour. So if you're interested in that, please speak to your uh, sponsors. 네, 워렌 버펫이 말했다고 합니다. 오늘 나무 그늘에서 쉴수 있는 이유는 예전에 나무를 심었기 때문이랍니다. And so Warren Buffett said this, that uh, someone sitting in the shade today is because someone planted a tree a long time ago. 음, 여러분, 애터미 사업 어떻게 하고 계신가요? So I want to ask, how are you doing your Atomy business? Atomy는 어 능력이 필요한 게 아니에요. And so Atomy, is, you don't need any sort of ability. 노력이 필요합니다. You need to have effort. 음, 제가 샘플 하나 드릴게요. 만약에 여러분의 아들 철수라고 해봐요. 철수가 걸어가고 있는데 큰 트럭이 와서 철수를 덮치려고 합니다. 여러분은 어떻게 반응하시겠어요? And so let me give you an example. Let's say you have a son and your son will just for the sake of it will name him John and he's about to get hit by a big truck. What would you do? 철수야. 대니얼 존이 아닙니다. 철수야. 거기 트럭이 와. 빨리 와. 이렇게 하실 건가요? And so you're going to go Oh, uh, so we'll, I guess change the name back to Charsu and then we'll say that, oh, Charsu, come back here quickly. No, Atomy 사업원이 어떻게 하는지 아세요? 철수가 트럭에 치우려고 하잖아요. 그러면 여러분의 액팅은 철수, 철수, 내 몸을 던져야 되는 거예요. 내 아들을 구하기 위해서. 이런 마음으로 Atomy를 right. 1년 동안 해보세요. 오토 판매사 그냥 갑니다. And so if you are just a lukewarm, it's like, oh, Charles to run away, then nothing will happen for your you know, child. But if you are like really scared and then you run or in rush into the in front of him so that you can protect them, 
then you might be able to protect and save him. And so that's the kind of heart and desire that you have to have while you're doing atomy and that desperation if you want to succeed. And if you're able to do that for just one year, I can guarantee that if you have that kind of mindset, you'll be able to become at least an auto sales master. Modu, so let's all shout out Charsu and meet together at the top. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much for all the beautiful, amazing, again, introductions. Thank you, Esther. Yes, we have to be more persistent in autonomy and speak up, talk, open our mouths, not be afraid. Thank you very much for all the speakers. Thank you so much for our interpreters today for their hard work. Thank you so much. And uh, this is all for today. We're gonna head, uh, going to end up. And as usually, we will do the company motto. Please don't go away after we will be taking picture. If you just open your mics, please. Are we waiting for our model? We all remember, so you can start. <laughs> okay. Can we... Are we, are, are, are we ready? Yeah. Are we ready for our company model? Okay. Do you have your camera available for the picture, please? All right. Do a photo.